we're going to do now is we're going to show the vessels, do a preparation of the altar that we will do use during the celebration of the Eucharist. Now, all these elements will not necessarily reside on the altar at the same time, but just to give you a feel for the different vessels and where they're sitting on the altar. First of all, the chalice, as we discussed earlier, the chalice is which holds the precious blood and the paten, which is going to hold the body of Christ. The paten containing the bread, as well as the cruet containing the wine, would be brought up to the altar. The water, the cruet of water, the water bowl, the purificator, and the hand towel would already be placed on the altar for the preparation. During the beginning of Mass, the altar is pretty much bare, other than perhaps uh, the book stand. The altar is bare because the Eucharistic celebration hasn't begun yet. After the homily, the Eucharist, uh, during the liturgy of the Eucharist, the altar is prepared by bringing these sacred vessels on the altar. The priest or the deacon would prepare the altar. The corporal is laid down first, and then we would prepare it by bringing up the sacred vessels. The wine would be mixed into the chalice, and a little bit of water would be mixed into the wine, representing humanities and, and the divinity mixing together in Jesus Christ. The priest would offer these as our gifts, make the offering as our gifts during Mass. Another part that the priest will do at this point, too, at the altar, is the lava bowl. The priest, with either the deacon, the altar servers, would engage in washing the hands of the priest, very simply by pouring water over the priest's hands and he would wipe with a towel. The corporal, again, the purificator, is always used to wipe off the sacred, the precious blood in the chalice. So this is your basic mass setup. During mass, as it would go on, you would remove the water, the wine, the lava bowl, and what would you would have is what was going to be consecrated. The bread, whether it is just a patent with the one host or the multiple saborium, and the chalice, which it might be just a separate chalice, or you might have communion cups. This would all be on the altar for the consecration from the bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ.